the cops came to take the truck away, and we didn't know what was happening. A tip leads police to the pewter-colored pickup truck seen leaving a deadly hit-and-run accident. Authorities had been searching for clues since nine-year-old Tatiana Babineau lost her life in a hit-and-run while walking to school Wednesday morning. But then a break in the case. A Crime Stoppers tip led police to the truck of this man, 39-year-old Isidro Espinosa Solis. The truck had been turned over to a mechanic with damage to its front end. Tonight, police have the truck in their custody, but say the driver is on the run. Phil Anaya has been following this story since it broke. He joins us live with the latest. Phil? Well, Deborah, police say finding that truck was a huge break in this case. Now, we spoke to a person who lives at the home where that truck was discovered, and she swears they had no idea police were looking for that truck, and had they known, then they would have called police much sooner. I feel like this is a terrible nightmare. I never wish it would have happened like this. I would have called right away. This woman wants to hide her identity, but goes by the name of Irma. She lives in the home where police found a truck that belongs to this man, 39-year-old Isidro Espinosa Solis. He's wanted in connection to the deadly hit-and-run accident that killed 9-year-old Tatiana Babineau. Idma says her husband is a mechanic and the suspect asked her husband for help with his pickup truck. When he called my husband, he told him that a deer, he had hit a deer and he needed his car fixed. So we didn't think anything of it until when the cops came and they told us what was going on. Police got the tip about the truck overnight and removed it from the backyard of Irma's home on the south side, about 12 miles away from the crime scene. Irma claims neither she or her husband knew about the deadly accident and that police were looking for the vehicle. My husband feels terrible and if we would have known, we would have never have kept the car here. We would have called the cops right away. I do feel for the family and I'm sorry for what happened and um, I hope they catch the guy. I hope they get it, get it, give him what he deserves. And that woman claims her husband doesn't really know Isidro all that well, that the two had just recently hooked up. That way he could uh, fix his truck. But if anybody knows of the suspects whereabouts, you're urged to contact Crime Stoppers as soon as possible. That number is 224-STOP. Reporting live from police headquarters, Philanaya, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News.